Smoke in our eyes, wet wood and tears. On of the meadow, water somewhere. With you, my friends, I am there. The Mojave Primitive Encampment is a camping program staffed by Girl Scout leaders and parents in the South Bay area under the auspices of Angeles Girl Scout Council. For the past 25 years, volunteers have been training Girl Scouts in primitive camping skills and have provided a desert encampment where the girls could use those skills. Registered Girl Scouts in grades six to nine are eligible to participate in this program. Experienced primitive campers in the ninth and 10th grades may try out to become junior counselors called MISCs, Mojave In-Service Counselors. In the fall of each year, pairs of MISC visit 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th grade Girl Scout troops to provide information about Mojave and encourage girls to participate. They give out applications and talk about the January skill workshops, the in-town overnight, and the desert trip. In January, there are two day-long skill workshops where MISC teach basic knots and lashing techniques, tent raising and striking, personal first aid, wood fire building and maintenance, the safe use of knives and hand axes, and how to use a compass in exploring the environment. In an informal atmosphere of sharing and fun, girls learn about camp gear, techniques for dealing with hypo and hyperthermia, as well as desert survival. There are skill demonstrations and hands-on activities, new friends and camp songs to join in. Girls learn well from other girls. Girls are divided into patrols headed by a miss and a Mojave adult called a Ma. After the workshops, they hold three patrol meetings to prepare for the in-town overnight. The girls elect patrol officers, review camping skills, and decide who brings which gear. Refreshment time provides an opportunity for the girls to get to know one another better. In February, the in-town encampment offers a chance for girls to show off their camping skills, pitching tents, lashing a quapod work table, preparing food in their camp kitchens, and sharing meals together is the culmination of the patrol's efforts. Throughout two days of tryouts, adults evaluate patrol activities and miss test camping skills. Girls also take a written test to review their outdoor knowledge. Everyone enjoys songs and skits around the campfire Saturday night and the scouts own, led by the Miss the next morning. The 80 girls who are best qualified are invited to go to the desert during spring vacation. The desert encampment is at Indian Joe Canyon Ranch, privately owned land outside Trona, California in Inyo County. Girls leave from Torrance by bus on Palm Sunday and return that Thursday evening. <coughs> With their protective boots, happy hats, patrol scarves and whistles, they are definitely a colorful and excited group. Seeing the desert for the first time charges the air with anticipation of the week to come. During the five-day campout, Girls sleep in dome tents that dot the landscape, set up a functioning desert kitchen, and cook meals over open wood fires within their patrol. All girls have a chance to prepare and serve meals, clean up, and tend the fire. A primitive camp is where there are no facilities provided. Everyone depends on the water buffalo for potable water. 
and uses drop pit latrines. MISC lead the patrol work, but there are always adult advisors. Adults also provide first aid, security, and program assistance and support. Girls choose activities from rock climbing and hikes, including a moonlight hike, to campfires, nature crafts, stargazing, and just kicking back. There is always time for chatting with friends, and sometimes for a quick water fight up at the water trough. Repelling is a favorite activity for many girls. Girls are taught safety and to use belaying and rope break techniques to go down the beginner's rock. Everyone is encouraged to try this first easy rock. The repelling patch is truly a badge of honor. Later, other rocks are rigged with lions and adult coaches for practicing. One afternoon, the China Lake Search and Rescue Team sets up and helps with repelling. Their Alpine Traverse is considered a real E-ride, and only darkness limits how many girls can ride. Experienced desert campers are eligible to go on an overnight backpack trip to the head of Indian Joe Canyon and across the ridge into Great Falls Canyon. While the backpackers enjoy the special friendship of a shared trail, the first year girls in camp have a chance to sharpen their desert skills. Evening campfires feature songs and skits as well as speakers from the Trona area. We think it is important for the girls to learn about the geology and the history of our canyon. The last night's campfire is very special as girls realize the end of a busy and happy encampment. Last year's ashes are added to the fire, representing the continuing traditions of Mojave. Many sleep out under the stars for the final night in the desert. Breaking camp requires cooperation from everyone. Before the girls load onto the buses, there's one last sweep of camp to make sure we leave no trace. There are many tears when the girls say goodbye. In addition to having fun and learning new skills, girls meet and work in patrols with other Girl Scouts from all over the South Bay area. They also complete program requirements for interest projects and the silver and gold awards. Encourage your girls to participate in the Mojave Primitive Encampment Program. Volunteer your skills as a Mojave adult.